Gary, congratulations, you're into the quarterfinals here in Dortmund, beating your old rival Michael van Gogh, and just sum it up for us. It wasn't really Michael, was it? Was it? He, no, he, he definitely struggled up there, I mean, like I say, his, his scoring wasn't his usual 180s, 140s. I mean, there was one game, one leg, I went 140, 140, 140, I'm sitting on 81, and I love 81, that's one of my favourite finishes. I had a, I done the wrong thing, I looked at his score, it was about 300. I went, well, this is my leg, and I ended up losing it. So that was my head done in. But uh, no, he, he never played like, well, like I, I know how he can play. Do you still enjoy the battles against Michael, the build up to it, the banter in the practice room between the pair of you? Never like the build up, you know, because everyone thinks it's going to be a cracking game and it usually turns up a little bit cow pat, you know, <laughs> which I think it was tonight. But uh, no, it's like I say, Michael's, he's, he's done everything in darts, hasn't he? You know, there was. I remember watching him, of, I remember playing him when he was about 13, 14, you know, and then he signed with the PDC and I don't think he won a game for about five years, and then all of a sudden he just took off, you know, and he was, he's, he's been absolutely merciful for about a decade. So it's, uh, no, it's, a, it's still a privilege to play him. Your best run on TV in a singles event since the Slam in, in 2023, Gary Anderson's just coming to the boil at the right time, is he? I wouldn't say the boil after tonight, but it was, it was enough to win. But uh, compared to the floor game, TV games are about a mile away. You know, it's, it's not quite the same as what's on the floor. I do enjoy the floor games. I don't do many TV tournaments now, so it's a bit, I don't know if it's nerves or what, but uh, we're, we're still going, we're still going. And just so you haven't got a look, you know, up to 20th. Eh? Just so you haven't got a look, you're now up to 20th. Well, don't say that. <laughs> I can't be doing that. <laughs> Gary, congratulations. Thank you. Gary, do I dare say that the draw is kind of opening up? Michael Smith faced Richie Eckhouse and fell to Richie, so he's your next opponent. What are your thoughts on that? Not many people would have earmarked him as a quarter final opponent. See, this is the thing we've got with our players, right? Everyone's used to seeing your Premier, Premier League players, 10 players or 8 players your top 32, your top 64, that's all they see. They never see the boys that have not qualified for it. These boys cannot play darts. You know, Richie's been about for a long, long time and he's, he's just done the world number two tonight. You know, so if that tells you something, he can play the game. You've won nearly everything in darts, but this is- Except the wrong play. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm never gonna win a double start tournament, I'm not, ever. But, and uh, the European yeah. Championships also one that you've not you've not won yet. So yes. when you feel a little bit more special winning it, especially after not playing here since 2016. Now nah, listen, people might have me as favourite to beat Richie, but I ain't looking at it that way. You know, the finals are a long way to go, and to be honest, at 50, just about 54, three games in one day is it's hard one. Sorry for these youngsters that are bouncing about like bloody jack in the boxes, but uh, when you get old, it's it is, it is hard. The three, the first games. Fair enough, it's 100%, you know, but then you have that break. What do you do? Do you sit about for six, seven hours, or do you go back to the room and then fall asleep and it's it's back to square one again? But uh, the, th the three games in one day is hard, you know, so we'll try, we'll, we'll give it a go. Is there any experience you can draw on from the Euro Tour that you won earlier on where you had to play three games in one day that you can try and use to, if you did get to the final? I should never have won that one as well. You know, that's, <laughs> you know I, I don't really have much luck in darts, but on that day of that European that I won it, I should never have won the quarters. Well, I can't remember who I played in the quarters. I can't remember. I don't think it should have been Josh Rock. And Ross Smith in the final Fine. that could have been. That's a flip of a coin. So, you know, that, that tournament, that was a pinch. You know, so, but uh, to get here after two tournaments, yeah, I'll, t I'll take that. Cheers, Gary, thank you. Thank you. Gary, what do you think was the best part of your game tonight? Winning. <laughs> <laughs> that last double. Uh, well, I, I don't know, like, like I say, the, the hardest part of that game tonight was playing Michael. I'm expecting 180s, 140s, and the big finishes, and he wasn't taking them out or he wasn't hitting them, and it's, it, it kind of puts you off. You know, you, you lose contact with your own game because you're, you're used to what he does. But uh, yeah, I think the 1 2 2 that kind of came at the right time. You know, it's, uh, it was a two treble 18s and the, the double seven, which was, a, which was a wee lifter. How difficult was it? Because you say you, you still expect 
a bit more from, from Michael, he starts firing and so on. So how difficult was it to close the game out? It's, once it was, the one leg, like I say, I went 140, 140, 140, and then I just completely made a mess of 81 about six times. And Michael came down and check out, that's when I started to doubt myself, I went, you've just made a complete ass of this. And, uh, but you know, as the game went on, I, I won, I think, the next leg, and I kind of, I kind of settled back into it. You had a day off yesterday. Um, what do you do on days like these, away from the family here in, in Dortmund? Well, my, my football knowledge is zero. But <laughs> we get up in the morning, I have breakfast with Ryan Searle and Peggers. After breakfast, we'll read out, walk down to the Dortmund Sports Club or the, the shop, because they do some nice coffee there. <laughs> so we'll have a nice coffee. I've got Ty. Ty likes the football teams and the all the different strips, so he got one and I even bought the, my little girl one as well. And any targets? Do, do you set yourself any targets for the rest of the season? Yeah, get home by Monday. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> if I do get home on a Monday, I ain't going to Leicester on the Tuesday, put that way. <laughs> Alright, thank you. That's You're welcome, thank, thank you. Thank you. Very congratulations. So, if I tell you that of all the money you're now on the ranking, the number one most uh, money from one tournament is World Championship, but the number two is a Euro Tour, and the number three is this European Championship. Would you ever thought that a couple of years ago that the Euro Tour and European Championship are so important for your ranking money? Well, the, the Europeans, ever since they started putting the, the European money on the your What's overall main ranking, the main ranking, the main ranking yeah, it's hard. You know, I've not done Europeans for eight years. You've got to remember I stayed in the top ten for about six of the years with missing all the Europeans. So I look at it, I've done well to do that. You know, the Europeans, the money goes on to your overall rankings and then the only way you can play in the final is this, is play Europeans. But I don't think it should go into the overall rankings. I think that's a no-no. I think, uh, no, there's, a, there's enough tournaments and pro tours abroad that the Europeans, if you play the Europeans, you should go to the European finals and that's it. It shouldn't go to your overall rankings. So you told that you, you didn't play Euro Tour for a long time. Now you have experience now with playing also all the, of most of the European tours this year. What do you like the most? Staying at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, as, as I, has, I mean, I do, I do like help them shine. Hell and side. I do like that. You know, we, we play the pro tours and that. Then I think uh, <coughs> is there a European across there? Yeah. 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 Know. yeah. So you know, I, I do like that. It's nice for me to get to if I get to the right airport. I once went to the wrong airport <laughs> and it was about two hundred miles away. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we won't talk about that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's getting. I mean, listen, I'm getting older. I've got a young family, travelling. I can't do it. You know, I can pick it up. I've got to pick and choose, not because I want to, it's because I have to. You know, I can't be away 13 days home for a day and away again for another 13 days. I, I, I just can't do it. And next year's even worse because there's more on. So, so you don't know what you're going to do next year? I don't know what I'm going to do. Huh. No. Yes. You're almost back into now. You're now 20th on the order of merit, looking to the top 16. Is that the goal in general? I'd like to get to number one and then retire on the spot. That would cause a lot of grief. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but in that, listen, I, I, I'm enjoying what I'm doing just now. You know, you know I've spoken with my manager that. Premier League, I've done it for so many years, fantastic. Couldn't do it now, 16 weeks away from, from home. And then you've got Europeans, pro tours, you know, I, I just couldn't do it. You know, I mean, hats off to the youngsters that are doing it because they've got We've got some travelling to do in the next couple of years. Yeah, and uh, to end, a little preview for tomorrow, what do you expect? Well, if I wake up in the morning, it's off to a good start for the day. <laughs> and then after that, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.